Hi, welcome to Creating with Cassie. Today I am so excited because I get to talk about Me Time Delivered's Perfectly Pieced program, which is my all time favorite machine embroidery program. I think that's because you get a block every single month delivered right to your door with every single thing you need. You get thread, you get instructions, you get the embroidery files, and it's all ready to go. And I cannot wait to spend a lot of time talking about this program with you because I adore Me Time Delivered. So I thought it would be fun to spend some time stitching out all of these blocks together. And I thought, you know what? It's been about a year of them doing the Perfectly Peace program, but let's go backwards. Let's start with July 2022, which is this block. Isn't it fantastic? And we're going to stitch this together. The whole thing, we're going to do a whole stitch out of every single month, starting with the very first block that they did last summer, July 2022. Are you excited? I know I am. So let's get stitching. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is figure out what size block that you want to make with your project. So they have lots of block options here. These are just some fun ideas of how you can tumble the blocks and make different projects. I know that my machine has a seven by 12 hoop, so I can do this six inch block because the embroidery field size is six and a half by six and a half. And so I'm gonna do this one where I make nine blocks all together. I'm not sure if I'll tumble them that way in the end, but we'll see. However, today I am just going to stitch one block with you. And so we know which one we're going to do. And then after that, we can follow our instructions, which are amazing step by step, and we can stitch this together. So I'm going to set that to the side because I get to stitch that with you. Now the instructions are incredible and they led me to show how to cut all of my pieces out for my block. So there's some of them and then I have all the other ones all cut out and ready to go. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I starch these pieces really well so that they'll lay flat and already have that starch in there because we're going to do lots of ironing along the way. So I'm going to grab each and every one of these and give them a quick starch. You can use whatever starch you prefer. I'm just gonna spray them really quick. Ooh, that one was a little bit of a stream instead of a spray. I'm gonna set it here and then I'm gonna just starch it all up and make it lay nice and flat for me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the fabrics and then we're going to move to our embroidery machine. Okay. So I've already hooped my light mesh cutaway stabilizer and I'm just going to use the really pretty light blue thread that came in this quit kit. Isn't it so cute? I love it. It's a glide thread and I thought, you know what, let's just use it the whole time and then you can maybe see a little bit of the stitching because it's a light blue color. So the very first thing that you do after you have all your fabric prepped is we're going to thread our needle and then we're going to stitch our batting placement line. Okay, now that our batting placement line is there, we're going to put our batting completely covering that placement line and make sure that it is ready to go nice and flat. And then we're going to stitch what's called the tuck down line. Okay, now that everything is cut, it's my favorite part, which is where we stitch the piecing template. And I love this because it's gonna show me where I need to put every single piece of fabric. So, we're gonna let it stitch that one. Okay, so it finished stitching all of that piecing template. And if you're curious how it matches and how it shows you where all the pieces go, on your instructions right here, it shows you where every single piece goes. Now you can just use your instructions and just refer back to it. Or if you're feeling a tad bit nervous and wanna make sure that you get it right, you can always take a water soluble marker and just make a quick little note. So, you know, this is piece one, two, three, four, five and six. So then I will make sure that I don't mess anything up when I'm going and stitching. 
All right, my favorite rule or tip or tidbit about perfectly pieced is the first piece of fabric always goes face up. So we're gonna cover all of section one and make sure that we cover this outside line that is a trimming guide for later on and that we just set it there and smooth it. I like to smooth it against the batting so that it just kind of sticks a little bit like a sticker. And then we're going to stitch our first line. The fun thing about this line is it is also a trimming guide. So since it's a trimming guide, we're just gonna take our scissors and we're gonna pull the fabric up and trim close to that line. Just like that. And then we're ready for piece number two. Now, piece number one is always face up. All the rest of the pieces are always face down. So we're going to put that right against that line so that it is lined up to the best of our ability. And then we're going to have the next stitch stitch okay after we've stitched this last line we're going to take our little iron and i'm just going to press it just to marry those stitches to the fabric and then i'm going to flip it over and I'm going to press kind of taut against that line so that we can have a really nice straight line. We're gonna just iron it nice and flat and smooth and then we'll return it to our embroidery machine. At this point, we're going to go ahead and stitch the next line. This is a trimming line and it's also stitching that piece of fabric down on the one side for us. Okay, you can either take it out or leave it in when you're going to go and trim this piece of fabric. Because of where the presser foot is this time, I'm going to take it out to trim it, where last time I didn't have anything in my way, and so I left it in there for the trimming. Okay, I have piece two trimmed and piece three sitting there ready to be stitched. We'll just do that real quick. Okay, quick little iron again. We're just going to pull that nice and taut. Make sure that that is looking smooth and then we'll return it to the machine and we're going to stitch a cut line on this side of piece two. Okay, so I just trimmed the rest of piece two and a teeny bit of piece three so that I could put piece four on and we can stitch that and let it join our little block. Okay, quick little iron, marry the stitches, flip, and give that a nice press, nice and taut. Oh, look how cute this already is. I absolutely love how the pattern is emerging. Okay, we're gonna return this to our machine for our next stitch line. Okay, so off screen, I just stitched this line that went all the way across the fabrics here, and I'm gonna show you how to clip this one. So we're just gonna bring our scissors in here, and we're gonna pull it top, make sure that we cut against that line, and we're gonna get all that fold there. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to make sure that we cut in so we get most of that fabric out. You can clip these stitches right here as well if you'd like them to be removed, especially if you have fabrics where they'll be shown. But my next fabric is a darker one, so you won't see this little bit that's left there. Then we're going to take it and cut nice and close all the way to the end. All right, let's lay our next piece of fabric which is piece number five. And we're gonna line that up against that stitch line, nice and smooth. I, again, love to always press it nice and flat so it kind of feels like it sticks to the other fabric. And then we'll stitch this next stitch line. Okay, just press like usual, pull it over taut, 
make sure it's looking nice and good oh my goodness look once you add that fabric this block really comes alive i love it okay now we're going to come over here and stitch our last placement and cut line and then we can place our last piece of fabric Woo! okay so we have that line stitched here now you have a choice at this point we like to trim as you know all the extra fabric you can come and try and guess a little bit on your trimming here and up here or you can kind of cut in and just trim there either is fine i like the cut in method so i'm going to take my scissors and i'm just going to clip a little bit right there and then i'm going to cut close to that stitch line and then i'm going to take it and clip out that way so i have kind of a funny looking line right here but i prefer it that way then i'm going to take my last piece you number six and I'm gonna line it up close to that stitch line as almost directly on it as possible then we'll put it in the machine and stitch it Okay, so this next bit, now that we have this all nice and pressed and all of our pieces pieced, is we're going to do a final tack down line, which actually also doubles as our cut line when we're ready to square up our block. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. Okay, we got that beautiful stitch line which kind of tacked everything down and made sure everything's in place and then my next favorite bit i call it the magic part the perfectly piece my favorite part is the piecing template but the magic bit the bit that really makes perfectly piece the best is it's gonna quilt this block now isn't that amazing we're gonna quilt this it's gonna be ready to be sewn in and ready to go and be a finished product which i love so let's start the magic look the magic happened look at that quilting it is so incredible and I love it because it's going to be identical on every single block you make I have a couple other ones that I've made because I'm working on that project look they're all the same every single one of them embroidery machines are incredible <laughs> so we're gonna show you how to finish this block out we're gonna take our hoop we're gonna loosen it up and release the stabilizer and our block and just set those aside and then we're going to cut it so remember how i said that this final line is a cut line you can see it on the front and you can also see it very clearly on the back that shows us exactly where we need to size this block up so i'm going to set that there and grab my ruler and my favorite rotary cutter and we're going to trim it up so we'll just set that directly on that line make sure everything looks good and then we're going to cut and then we're going to rotate this just for a second so we can get rid of some of this excess that's hanging out on the side all right so i do have a rotating cutting mat on here too so we can definitely do that move it so we can see it we're going to take this here line it up and we're going to cut and you can rotate if you have a rotating cutting mat or you can rotate your block however you like and then we're going to line that one up again just on that cutting line we're going to cut then we'll move it and we'll cut our last one release our block from our helpful stabilizer and just like that we have another one done isn't it beautiful i adore this block 
It is so much fun to make, as are all the rest of the Perfectly Peace blocks. So if you haven't given it a try yet, go ahead and give it a try. And there you go. Ta-da! Here it is. Look what we made together. Isn't it amazing? I love this block. It's not only very cheerful and very summery, it is so much fun to do with the Peace Program, especially with all of these triangles. I could not get them to look that good every time. I promise. So the fun thing is that because it's on an embroidery machine, I get perfectly pieced triangles and everything on my embroidery machine. It's incredible. So if you haven't tried this out yet, you should totally check them out at Me Time Delivered. I do have a link below for you to try and go check them out. They have a free block that you can try out without subscribing and just kind of see how it feels. And then if you fall in love with it like I did, then you're gonna wanna subscribe and get all of the boxes every single month directly to your door. Thank you so much for stitching with me today and stay tuned because we're going to do the August 22 block next time and have fun stitching that out together. And in the meantime, go out and create and make things beautiful for the world. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.